Israel is a community originally from the United States with roots in the Black Hebrew Israelites movement. Now based in Israel, the religious group believes Tel Arad to be the true Jerusalem. These are the people of the book. That's right. Even the Israeli government, however, does not recognize Tel Arad as a holy site. Israel have a law. You see, that indicates that if you have a holy place within the land of Israel, that you should be visit there freely, you see, without having to pay entry for it. So because of that, we want what everybody else, what every other community have in Israel. We want our people that's coming from America, our people that live here in Israel, we want them to be able to enter into our, the holy place. Leader of Beit Israel, Hoshua Amario, is citing an Israeli law enacted 52 years ago. The law says holy places will be protected from any desecration with freedom of access to those who hold them as sacred. Tel Arad is currently under Israel's park authority, where it is being treated as a national park and campsite. Beit Israel's activities are slowly being banned from the site, and its members must pay a fee to enter for prayers. I fear God more than I fear men. You understand? So we do go ahead and do what we were required to do, but we have a backlash afterwards saying that we broke the rules of the place. Several years ago, Beit Israel began working with Israeli lawyer That's Daniel Taib. That's the handshake for the revolution, the Torah revolution. Together, they are working on bringing the case before the Israeli government to have Tel Arad officially recognized as a holy place. Over the past year, the situation started escalating. Before last year, Chief Hoshua and his community could go there for their ceremonies and sacrifices. Everything was authorized. No one hurt anyone. Now they are being given difficulties to practice their rituals, so we are stepping up our legal actions to help. Currently, the group holds most of their rituals outside the boundaries of the park's authority. And abiding by Israeli law is beginning to dishearten many members of the community. The scriptures say that the city of David is the same as Zion. That Mount Zion is the city of David. If the scriptures literally say that, then how can you have a sign that points Mount Zion this way and then the city of David that way? It just doesn't make sense. We know that that's Mount Zion, and we would like to come uh, there and pray and serve the Most High as, as we're commanded. That's all. It hurts. It hurts really bad. It's something that I think about every day. I cry about it. I pray about it. I just, uh, every day, I'm just, I'm dealing with it every day. Everywhere I go in this country, it's really hard because that's who we are. That's who we are as a people. Israel's Parks Authority declined I-24 News request to be interviewed on Beit Israel in Tel Arad. It remains to be seen if the community will ever get the recognition it seeks. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone at Ruel, and blessings are to the brothers that pushing his word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth, risking your lives and freedom to do so. All right, and um, you know, I'm gonna say this before I start with the video, man. Uh, you know, anyone that's in the spirit of those guys, man, who believe that um, they can just force their self to uh, 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 live or have the right to be equal to those heathens over there in the land of Israel, all right, the Lord is going to destroy you, man. The Lord is going to destroy you, man. All right, because why? When you come into the knowledge of being an Israelite, it comes with a job, all right? And um, and I'm speaking to the men, man, all right? If you proclaim it to be an Israelite or you proclaim it to be a prophet of the Lord, all right, the Lord gave us a decree. He didn't say go to the land of Israel and take the land back, all right? The scriptures say, uh, wait ye upon the Lord, man. All right, but I got a precept, man, because the Lord has given us a commandment, man, all right? And um, as a man of the Lord, 
All right, you're supposed to follow this decree, man. All right, and this is uh, Ezekiel. All right, the third chapter, and I'm gonna start at verse 17. It says, "Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel." All right, so we are watchmen. All right, which a watchman's job is to do what, man? Spot something and come back and warn the people. All right, so we are uh, watching for prophecies, man, to come to pass. All right, so we can warn our nation how close. The Lord is at coming back. All right. And it says, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word in my mouth and give them warning from me. So we supposed to be warning our people, man. Whether they hear or forbear, as the scriptures say. All right. We supposed to be warning our people. All right. Verse 18. When I say, uh, when I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die and thou givest him not a warning. Nor speak of to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand, man. So a lot of yo, you people that believe that, um, you know, oh yeah, we Israelites, all right, let's go back to the land of Israel and let's get our land back. You're going to be destroyed. That's not what the Lord asked you to do, man. See, all that time and effort and, and hey, time effort that you putting into trying to, uh, uh Compromise with those uh, Edomites over there in that land. You could be putting all that effort into doing some videos, you know, uh, 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 going out to the highways and hedges, waking up the, the helping to wake up the hopeful elect, man. But instead, you over there trying to compromise and coming up, come up with an agreement with those Edomites, which those Edomites, hey, you know, they looking at you, shaking their head at you, man, because you're a damn idiot. We we were stripped from our ancient culture and brought to a land that we knew not and was brought here to serve a punishment for what we have did to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, so we still up under this uh, captivity, man. And who are you to 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 uh to try to uh, uh, uh move ahead of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah? All right, this is the Lord's business. All right, and when you proclaim to be an Israelite, you're supposed to be about your father's business. And your father's business, all right, commands you to push this word. All right, and I got a quick precept. All right, this is uh, Micah, all right, uh, 2 and 10. All right, it says, Shalakia, bear with me, Akia. All right, this is Micah chapter 2, verse 10. It reads, Arise ye and depart, man. See, a lot of people, you know, they hear that and, and, and they think that the Lord is talking physically, man. All right, the Lord, when the Lord comes back to redeem the nation of Israel, it's going to be on what you people ignorantly call a UFO. It's going to be on a chariot, man. We're going to get delivered by the way of chariots. Not by them American Airline. The Lord said, Arise ye and depart, man. He's not talking about uh, physically, he's talking about spiritually. All right, arise ye and depart. Put off all the ways of America and put on your ancient culture. All right, this is not our rest, man. The scriptures say, Micah 2 and 10, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, man. All right, those guys are over there in, 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 in the land of Israel. Trying to compromise and uh, get shared joint custody of that land with those damn heathens. All right, Micah 2 and 10, arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted. America's polluted. Israel polluted, man. Polluted with homosexuality. Polluted with just uh, all abominations, man. All right. Oh, Micah 2 and 10, arise ye and depart for this is not your not your rest because it is polluted and it shall destroy you even with the sword destruction all right so you trying to uh go to the land of israel and and, 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 and stand your ground is only gonna get you destroyed man all right because you're going against yahweh bahashem yahweh shah's you know uh decree man all right when the lord set us back in our land we're gonna have slaves all right all these other nations it's going to be up under us, man. All right? We're not going to sin anymore, man. 
All right, the laws is going to be within our hearts, man, within our minds, man. All right, there's going to be no more death, man. We're going to rule, man. All right? And um, let me just get that. Because when the Lord sent us back up in the land of Israel, we're going to be on top. All right? This is uh, this Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. It says, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel, man. So all that we've done, man, to transgress against the most high to, you know, you know, tur turn our backs on the Lord, man. For all we did unto the Lord, you know, he's going to have mercy on us again and choose us again. All right. It says, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. All right. This is a prophecy that haven't came to pass yet because, wow, we're still in captivity. So the Lord is going to set us back in our own land. And that's what we got to wait for. All right, Isaiah 14 and 1, for the Lord will yet, Shalakia, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel and set them in their own land and the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave unto the house of Jacob and the people shall take them and bring them to their place and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids and they shall take them captives who captives they were, all right? We are under captivity under the Edomites, all right? We used to be under captivity under all these other nations, all right? The Lord said we were going to take them captives who captives we were, all right? And um, and it says, and they shall rule over their oppressors, man. So that's when we going to be back in our land, man. When that land be cleansed, when we back in rulership, when we have slaves, all right, when our children can, you know, play, no diseases, no sickness, real food, pure water, that's when it's time to go back to the land of Israel, man. All right, because you got niggas that believe that they're free now, all right, but according to the scriptures, man, the scriptures say that we are yet this day in our captivity. What thou scattered us for reproach, man. No one can free us, man. No one can can give us that land back but until, you know, it's time, man. It's prophecy for us to be back in our land, but the time is not now, all right? So while you still here and while we still in captivity, all right, we got to push this word, man. If you proclaim to be a, a prophet or a man of the Lord, man. So I hope this was edified. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that we will and blessings to the brothers pushing his word in truth and sincerity. Shalom, wa, abba, babar.